What up? It's your boy. Uh, been out here grinding like Acon and Jeezy. Uh, as you can see, I got one pearl left over. I actually ended up doing all nine steps on the Madara banner. I uh, got lucky. Ended up getting one Madara, uh, which is great because that's confirmed. Uh, but uh, hey, can't complain. I had some fucking missions and shit to do, so it's not like I had to be spending racks to get this handsome devil right here. I actually like him a lot. I, I don't know. I always. And the art looks really, really cool. Uh, but, I don't know, I feel like Madara is probably one of the most interesting characters in Naruto. And it's hard to say that he's not in the top five characters in that series. Uh, but let's see. So, we got this team. is going to be the OG four-man squad. Then we got the Fuck Killer B team right here. Then we got the Fuck Gara team right here. And that's pretty much it. That's that's only two teams I actually bring out that for individuals that are annoying as shit. Um... But, uh, yeah, Madara definitely is a very interesting character. I actually was watching the end of Naruto again. It was probably my second or third time doing that. And it's really good, man. I mean, I, I definitely, at the end of Naruto, I kind of had mixed feelings about the delivery of it. But now when I go back and I watch it again, I mean, it's kind of weird. Kaguya is kind of a weird character. Uh, but I really, I fuck with it. I really do fuck with it. And I actually was watching a little bit of the tuning exams for Baruto. I actually liked that a lot. I was very surprised because a lot of my friends checked out Bardo and they're like, oh man, that shit, that show was shit tier, don't watch it. And I'm like, all right, fair enough. And I kind of took their word for it. But after watching a few episodes, it actually did not look that bad. I actually kind of have the intention of going through and watching that show because it seems pretty interesting. It, I mean, in, in terms of the story point, it at least progresses. And keeps the regular story from Naruto going on, kind of like Super in a way. Um, actually, more so than Super because the way that Toriyama did Super was, yeah, it kept Z going, but it was years, years later. You know, it was kind of like a, you know, just writing it in to get it in. You know what I mean? Whereas with Naruto going into Bardo, it was kind of more thought out. Where at the end of Naruto, you have the whole Kaguya saga and the whole idea of aliens and shit coming. Um, and then in Bardo, it kind of expands on that idea. So I, I definitely feel like it links e easier together, you know, from Naruto going to Bardo. And I, I'm definitely going to probably give Bardo a chance. At least, you know, watch the interesting parts. Because I watched the tuning in exams. Uh, I liked it. It wasn't anything like the regular Naruto tuning exams. Uh, but it was still good in its own way. It was interesting. And the animation for the regular Bardo is really, really good. I mean, it's actually better than Naruto, or early Naruto, um, and, it, and it definitely has really good art style, and it is definitely uh, better than some other animes that are out now. I mean, one thing, if you watch, you know, uh, Shinky versus fucking um, Boruto, is that a lot of people were commenting on the animation and how it was so much better than Dragon Ball Super's. And how they're like, why can't Super's animation be like this? And I was like, well, you know, fair enough point, fair enough point. I don't know why they're shitting all over Super. Even even I, I'm not a huge fan of Super, but I'm like, you know, leave him alone. Jeez Louise. Um, but, uh, yeah, fair point. It, it definitely is something that uh, is well welcomed because a lot of anime have gotten away with kind of doing a shit-tier job with uh, animation. And then their fans just love the show, so they're like, ah, eh, whatever, what are you going to do? It's just, it's not the best. But I still love the show, and I'm still going to watch it, uh, which is fine, but I definitely do appreciate that Bardo does have pretty good graphics. It was uh, pretty surprising. It looked pretty cool, and I, I think I will check it out. And I actually am happy that it is kind of going. I definitely, I probably feel like people who actually love Super, and I, you know, I, I don't hate Super in any way, really, um, but I definitely am not a huge fan of the series. Um, I kind of got sucked in during the whole... Uh, Rose arc, that was definitely interesting, but then after that, it was just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of redundant, uh, where it had the first torment arc before anything, whoops, where it had the, actually, let me shut off night mode, I kind of don't like that, I do not like night mode, no I don't, but I will not shut it off, because I like being reminded when it's 10pm, um, but, uh, yeah, it was kind of redundant with the first torment saga, and then it went into the um, the God Saga, and then finally with the Universe Survival Saga. I kind of I don't know. I kind of wasn't feeling it too much, but uh, hey, fuck it. If you were feeling it, you were feeling it. You got something that I don't, which was a.
pretty good show to watch during that time period. But, uh, oh, hold up. We gotta get the fuck Garda Squad out here. Get out here, boys. Um, I don't have a lot of um, stage damage characters. Like, I know there's like a Sakura and a Tsunade. I don't know if you can farm them. Probably not. But uh, I do have someone who has a 90% chance of immobilizing, and so far this Neji has not let me got, let me down uh, just yet. And I do have the Sasuke, who is enough to kill this guy as long as he stands in it long enough. That thus the reason why I have the immobilizer, so this piece of shit can get hit. And then look at this, look, look at that. Your brother, that's your brother. Um, and this guy, whenever he attacks, he goes to the right of you. So it's good to attack to the right of him, and then he'll go to the left. Okay, and let's see. Can we get an immobilize with Jiraiya? Add a cherry on top. Come on. Add that cherry. Add that cherry. Yeah, we added it. It was delicious. So now that we're done eating that delicious cherry, let's go back to the God Squad. Cool. But, uh, yeah. Definitely was cool to check out. And I think the part of the reason why I actually did check out a few episodes of Bardo, saw a little bit of the tuning exam, saw a little bit of when he was fighting, uh, fuck, what the fuck is his name, uh, the dude from the Moon Clan, Momosuke, I think, I don't remember exactly, but, uh, I checked that out Friday in the afternoon, and the reason why I checked it out Friday in the afternoon is because your boy took off, oh, damn, did I get a chakra conservation? If I did, that's nice, that's sweet, sweet, um, looks like I did, cool, um, but uh, the reason why I did it, I took off Friday from work uh, because I have a shit ton of days I need to take off. And my friend was coming from out of state, so I was like, fuck, I might as well take off Friday. Why not? Why not do that? Um, okay. Let's see. I think I'll just have an auto and this guy's courier. Yes, let's see. I don't know if Naruto can dodge this hit, honestly. Let's see. Can I dodge the hit? Nah, probably not. Nah. No, I can't. No, I can't. If only I could, then I could. Um, but yeah, I ended up taking off Friday. Which ended up being not a bad idea. But it's funny because I kind of try not to take off days in general. Just because I don't want to miss anything. And what's funny is that I ended up taking off kind of at the worst time for me personally. Just because of the fact that my job like super duper needed me not 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 like dying needed me but we had a lot of things coming this week that i could have contributed to and done more so on friday uh, i mean you know a day day's worth of work isn't going to be you know life changing but it definitely would have been um more advantageous for me if i had taken off last friday for example as opposed to this friday but uh funny enough what ended up happening is this week i got a bunch of shit ton of i got an email and a shit ton of bug tickets for update I put out for an existing application. Like six bug tickets. They're like, dude, dude, we need some changes. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? So I ended up looking at the different bug tickets. It was just different things. But the primary complaint with what they were not happy with and something that they want to change was actually something that, you know, as fate would have, is something that I looked at when I first came to the company. And it was like, I agreed with them, and I was like, yeah, this is kind of odd, I don't know why it's like this, is that um, we have, we basically, our company has a search functionality, it's kind of like Google search, if you will, um, and the way it works currently is that it uses OR search, it uses OR logic, so if you're looking for something, and you type in, you know, say I want someone who has the skill of Java, I want someone who knows Java, and then you go to filter and you put in C++. You know, for most people, you would think that would be, now I have candidates who have Java and C++. They have both things, especially when it comes to search. But the way it's been is that it'll be Java or C++. So you can have someone with just C++, someone with just Java, and vice versa. Uh, which is something that they didn't really want. Well, it turns out they really didn't want. Uh, but is something that, how did I not get the other one? Uh, but it ends up being something that ended up, you know, they actually did not want it to be just one or the other. Let's see if I can kill this piece of garbage. They, something that they did not uh, want to be. So this is something I want to change this week. But it's just funny because 
in December, I basically was working on, um, put that there, in December I was basically working on, uh, an automation project that basically just made sure that the UI worked properly, and I brought that up, I'm like, this is kind of weird, why is it doing or search, shouldn't it be like, and searching, like, I don't get it, and they're like, yeah, it's kind of odd, kind of weird, but that's just the way we've had it, I'm pretty sure that's how people want it this, that, and the third, and I'm like, eh, whatever, I mean, if that's how you want it, that's how you want it, uh, whatever, but, um, I thought it was weird, and it's funny enough, it ended up going to, you know, certain people this week, and they're like, nope, that is not what we wanted, not at all, so, it's basically going to be changed this coming week by me, uh, which is pretty cool, I definitely have been more involved with the development process these past couple of months, because, Technically, my job title is test engineer, which is, I guess, falls under QA. Um, although, since I've joined, I've been doing kind of like a mix of QA and a little bit of dev. Uh, when I first joined, the most dev-related work, which I don't, I don't, know, I don't even know if this is dev-related work, but it's basically just doing a little bit of like configuration programming and a little bit of unit tests. Um, but nothing what I've been doing recently, where it's like kind of like user stories and working on a set project and trying to basically just get things delivered for a actual product which is pretty cool I definitely have learned a lot I've definitely learned uh, about you know the quote unquote agile process and uh, am happy that I've been able to you know basically have the opportunity to dive deeper into damn bro I'm getting hella I'm getting hella lucky with that um, but uh, yeah, basically dive deeper into development work and get sucked into that because what I've been doing for the past couple of months was a lot of kind of more QA related things, although uh, not it wasn't like I was just writing integration tests. There was definitely a lot of um, kind of ad hoc programming in the sense that like, for example, you know, they wanted me to write a performance test one time and in order to do that, I basically had to write my own custom um, HTTP sampler for JMeter, uh, which was pretty pretty programming heavy. I mean, it actually was a plugin, a jar plugin for the uh, object itself. But this is kind of like the first, you know, kind of like um, a company delivered uh, application development product. So it's kind of like more so, you know, by the book with the actual, like, processes and stuff like that, which is pretty cool, I like it, I like the fact that I've been exposed to so much, and it's only been a year, not even a year, technically it has not been a year that I've been at my company, another month it'll be a year, and I've been doing a lot, and I'm pretty happy about that, I mean, I, that's definitely something that I was a little bit wary of, um, with my mid-year kind of review, is that uh, I did a really good job, they said I did a really good job, uh, which I am happy about, but I felt like I wasn't like up to snuff in terms of like kind of curating my own work in the sense that whenever, like the reason why I did so well that this year was in large part due to the senior developers on my team basically looking out for me and saying, hey, you know, you could do this hey, you could do this, and basically saying, hey, you know, you could do that, you could do this, why the fuck did that hit me, I wasn't even in range, why the fuck did that hit me, I wasn't even in range, I don't know, whatever, um, alright, Jesus, we need to get our HP back, um, let's see, I'm not gonna even take the chance, um, but, uh, it was, uh, definitely, something that I'm happy about but at the same time I also wanted to be a little bit more careful about and try to like basically figure out like damn this guy's about to kill me this piece of shit let's see let's move in like that move in like that do a little bit of damage and he's dead holy crap holy crap alright cool Jesus um but, uh, it's, it's just something that I was a little bit, ooh, get that fuck killer B team out. It was just something I was a little bit apprehensive about because it, it I don't know, I don't, I don't like doing things and kind of not having that quote unquote formula for success. Like, 
I don't like when I'll succeed at something and I didn't like I'll just do it ad hoc and do it kind of like off the cuff which is good it's good to do something real quick and you know not take an L but it's also kind of weird when you get success and you don't know what the fuck you're doing because then you kind of go into this mode of like I don't know how I got here I don't know why I'm succeeding but I guess I'll keep doing what I'm doing which I kind of felt a little bit of just because you know for example one thing that they were super happy about that I did was I wrote some performance tests and some code for that performance jar but that's not something that I knew of when I came into my company where it's like you know basically like hey you know I'm a you know I, I've done performance tests before which I hadn't um, I know how to write a jar for this which I didn't you know it was something that a senior developer said hey check this out and I did and ended up being alright with and then later on basically what, what had first happened is that I basically just got accustomed to using the Java API for um, JMeter and if you ever use JMeter before it's very popular performance testing software but it has very little very little documentation very uh, scarce very hard to come by um, and it was something that I took on and I basically wrote a shit ton of documentation and it's something that kinda like for the first time in my company they had someone who was looking I guess I'll do that was looking at JMeter from a Java perspective because JMeter you can do it with a GUI or you can do it with the Java SDK um, and I ended up doing it with the actual code like the actual Java source code which was the first time uh, which helped because later on I wrote a custom HTTP sampler and you cannot do that without using the Java API so it was good that at least you know that first one I kinda quote unquote kinda you know elected to use the Java you know software but it ended up being a good thing because you know if I didn't use the Java software it would have been a lot harder to then go and you know use the Java API to create a custom sample when I didn't really 100% understand how to use it um, you know the application in the first place so definitely um, definitely was happy about that definitely saw that as a W because it was something that I took time out and it's something that is you know it, there's nothing better than learning something and then being able to use it later to learn something else and at an accelerated rate you know so I was able to do that and I took a super W and my company was super happy about that uh, which is cool but like I said I was just kinda like um, a bit apprehensive just because it was kinda like you know I, I didn't actively do that like I wasn't going up to people and being like hey I know you have this issue and I'm amazing with JMeter and I know what to do let me help you um, it was more so it was actually even when I did know what to do I didn't even go up to someone and say hey I can help you it was actually a uh, one of the senior developers on my team uh, was looking out for me and kind of said, hey, you know, this guy knows how to do that. Ask him. He can help you, which was really cool and really nice, uh, you know, that he did that. And I really appreciate that, honestly, because it, it allowed me to learn more and allowed me to do more. So that man, that man uh, made way for my W and um, really helped me a lot. Uh, and really appreciate that and really cool that guy for helping me out um what should I do here should I go for should I go for slip damage I feel like I should yeah. I'm gonna take a lot of damage if I do that though yeah you gotta be careful with this phase like as you can see I have really high HP but you can kinda if you're using like the squad I'm using right now you can kinda trick yourself into killing yourself cause right there I took a shit ton of damage and it's it, it's like right now it's safe because I could do this get the slip damage and then come back down um, but you really gotta be careful because this piece of shit Katsia can do a shit ton of damage honestly so let's see can you always oh the question is can you get the full HP before they hit you again and the answer is yeah and it's not so much full HP it's just the fact like you always want to be uh, getting more HP than losing. Uh, that is the point uh, that is of importance. Okay, okay. And I think I'm just going to use this because I feel like with Sasuke, I'm just not going to use his chakra for a while. 
So might as well do what I'm doing right now. Oh my god, they both got stuck in that. That's so fucking retarded. There we go. Yeah, this is gonna hurt, honestly. Because that shit's still there. Yeah. I need some HP. I'm just gonna use this to heal up, honestly. Honestly, dude, I'm not even lying. I need some HP. Um. But yeah, I uh, really like my company, really enjoying it, and uh, it's funny because, like, uh, recently, my one of my friends has always been kind of advocating for me to just leave my company after a year and kind of go somewhere else, because that's kind of like the status quo when it comes to software development, like, the whole idea is, like, I mean, not the whole idea, but it is definitely something that's common in the culture, is that you go to the company, you learn a bunch, and then you go work at one of the big end companies, go work at Google, go work at Facebook, go work at Amazon, uh, which, honestly, me personally, I never really cared about, personally, but it's it's more than likely because of the fact that I kind of don't know what the fuck I'm doing, like, I don't know, you know, for example, some people love AI, they want to go learn about AI, some people love, um, I don't know, they love, uh, machine learning, they love... Uh, virtual reality, you know, different things that they like a lot, uh, they'll end up going, checking it out, and, you know, they'll go to Facebook for VR, they'll go to Amazon for AI, or even Microsoft, and it's cool and all, but I don't know, me personally, I just, I don't know, I just never really got sucked into being interested in one certain field in one company, so it's kind of been a, kind of been a situation where I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And because of that, I was kind of like, whatever, I'll work at whatever company and do whatever. Because, like I said, I, like, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I, I kind of still don't know what I want to do. I mean, I don't know what I want to focus on. Like I, I, like I said, recently I've been working on and focusing on Spring um, Microservices. I don't know if I want to turn it to Spring McGee now and only work on Spring Architecture, work on controllers and stuff like that. Uh, it's just something that, I don't know, I just... I, I, I really haven't, I'm not one of those people that went into computer science because I had a specific goal, uh, not to say I don't have a goal, but I don't know, I'm not one of those people who, like I met them in college or freshman year, they knew exactly what they wanted to do, what companies they were already interning at, because they did computer science in high school and now they could like, you know, basically they're at a junior level in freshman year or sophomore year, and they basically had the leg up and were able to do what they wanted to do. Whereas for me, I, I like computer science. I think it's interesting, but it's definitely not something that I was super into in high school. And I was like, oh my god, I can't wait uh, to get into this. Because it really wasn't. I really, I don't want to say I didn't care, but I definitely was not into computer science the way I'm into it now. And I'm not even into it that much. Like, yeah, I like it. It's my job. It's interesting. But it's not like I'm in love with it to the point that I always try to make it a point to, you know, take time out to program, for example. Which isn't necessarily, you know, um, a bad thing to program in free time. And I have done that in the past. And I do like doing that sometimes. But usually when I do that, it's, um, it's when, uh, let's see, two. Okay, I like this. This is, this is looking like an opportunity for a swamp. Is two, one. Okay, um, okay, let's do that. Oh shit, oh shit. This is the power of the shining gun. Yeah, I completely forgot that you can only use, um, wisdom and bravery for a second there. Uh, holy shit, that is, wow. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess we'll do this. Get this out of here. And I may go up there and use Mother on those two. Nah, I'm not going to use Mother on those two yet. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Gotta, gotta put the slip damage to get that ultra damage going on. Okay. Now. Oh man, no more. No more barrier breaking jutsu? Not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. Alright, let's see. Now I'm going to use Madara on as many people as possible. That might mean everyone. 
everyone but one. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not 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 a big deal. 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 I'm actually gonna save that. Um, barrier breaking jutsu. Because I'm assuming, yeah, as you can see, they're they're gonna put the barriers back on. I got. I think I'm gonna focus getting rid of um. What's that dude's name? Uh, that piece of shit. What's his name? I guess I, guess I could get rid of her too. It's either gonna be her or um. Fuck. What's his name? Not Jugo. Oh my god. What's his name? Kidon Maru. So Yuya, sack on Yukon. And then who the fuck is that guy? Jerobo. Okay, yeah, Jerobo. Um, probably going to take out to Yuya or Jerobo. Probably, maybe to Yuya just because she doesn't have her um, barrier up right now. Oh, take that back. There she go, right there. Maybe I'll go for to Yuya. I don't know. I feel like she's. Yeah, I'm gonna go for. T yeah, I'm gonna go for her. Let's take this. Let's go for Tuyuya. Let's try to get rid of her. Right here, right now. Oh, come on, Tuyuya, you gotta fucking die now. Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of this bitch. See you later, you fucking dot. Um, after this, I'll move Naruto down here. Yeah, I'll just do that. I was gonna try to put him a little bit below to try and catch. Robo, but I'm not trying to get super by two people. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Do this. Get some tracker going. They got barrier, but hey, some damage never hurt anyone, right? Alright. Got that. Yeah, just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on Sasuke's Jutsu to come back. Or wait on... Alright, see, it's a good thing I didn't do anything. Or wait on Madara's Jutsu to come back, and then I'll use a barrier. Till then, it is the long time, the long week, the long winter. Um, but yeah, as I said, a uh, busy week, fun week, learning a lot, and hopefully that can keep that going. And uh, like I said before, where I was kind of like a little, not disappointed, but something I kind of kept in mind is, you know, something to be aware of is that. I should be able to, or at least try to, uh, you know, find my own work, find my own, you know, positives and try to work off of that, which I have been trying to do a little bit at my job where basically um, any time I can think of, you know, thinking of items for the next print or the nice next work cycle, I'll try to note it down, try to, you know, divvy up work, even for my other teammate, if I can, you know, um, help him out by thinking of something he can work on, I can work on. Basically just kind of thinking of it of, as a unit perspective and kind of trying to... Oh, come on, dude. Really? Come on, man. Fucking asshole. Um, damn, I wanted to fucking kill this guy. I guess Naruto could kill him by himself, huh? Let's see. I think he... Yeah. I think Nordo can kill him, but uh, yeah, in my job I've just been a little bit more conscious and trying to figure out what I can do and what I can, tri can contribute and try to keep that idea of success going, because, I don't know, it's kind of weird, I don't know, kind of working is kind of sort of a little bit weird just because of the fact that it is kind of hard to measure success a little bit harder than school. I mean, school, you get a report card, you get grades, you kind of have an idea of what other people do to be successful. But at a job, I feel like success can come in different ways, and the way you progress isn't necessarily just a promotion or just how much you get paid. Uh, I mean, definitely, those, those are probably markers of, you know, a healthy work schedule. I mean, if someone is... Okay, all right, cool. If someone is, um, you know, you know, not getting promoted for a year or two, uh, that's probably not good. And usually that is a sign of what the heck? I thought I, I thought I took off this guy's beer. Whatever. Um, that probably is a sign of not doing too too great. And that is, uh, you know, sometimes there are cases where. Um, 
people get fired because even at my company when I first started there was someone who I met and was pretty much teaching me the ropes when I first got hired and he ended up getting fired around the new year last year so like this January basically um, and it was I'm just going to do this to get Nardo's uh, troops and kill this piece of shit sack on um, he ended up getting fired just because I guess he wasn't pulling his weight or he just kind of fell out of things and I thought I had enough chopper by now. Um, and he ended up getting fired. And even at the time, I remember my manager was kind of hinting at the fact that it was, you know, someone was getting fired and it was because they kind of couldn't figure out what they needed to do. They couldn't figure out what work to do. They kind of, you know, I know when, when he left, he was saying that he was trying to figure out, you know, a, a better source of, or, or not a better source, but um getting more skills to be a little bit better at you know in a tech job environment or whatever because you know it, it's a mixture of that and also you know he just didn't know what to work on what to do which uh i'm just gonna go ahead and auto this now which um can be frustrating and is something that i was worried about and was kind of like hey you know what if i don't know what to do what do i do if like no one needs anything and i don't know what to do which has not been the case as late because we've all been working on uh project that has plenty to do for everyone um but at the same time you know if things slow down in a year from now will i be able to say hey i want to you know do this that and third and i'm able to and i know what to do um i hope that's the case if not then i guess you know even for my own good i should probably leave my company because i, I would probably end up getting fired because i wasn't doing anything and if I'm not doing anything, I'm just collecting a paycheck. I'm not really learning anything new or contributing anything new. So I guess it makes sense to, you know, just fly the coop then. Um, but, hey, I guess that's something you learn as you work. I have no clue, honestly. I mean, to be H fam, I graduated, what, a year ago? And although I am pretty old, it's odd enough. You know, there's been so many people who have said this, this is anything new. But it's uh, definitely a shared sentiment that, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I have no clue what I'm doing, and, uh, I definitely feel people, I feel people when they say they have no clue what they're doing and that they are just going with the flow and whatever comes, comes, so, I definitely fucks with that energy and I know what they mean, so, let's see, can I break his shield with this ultimate? That's a question I'd like answered, let's see. Uh, yes or no? No. Damn, this guy's fucking shields are ridiculous. What a piece of shit. Alright, so, just gonna do this again, get some slip damage going. Why rush? Why rush? Uh, do I have to use my ultimate? Low key, this jutsu might be enough to get rid of that stupid shield. Let's see. Come on, Sasuke. Come on. Don't let me, you piece of shit. This piece of garbage couldn't fucking kill his brother's shield. Nigga, what a piece of garbage. Come on, bro. Fucking, if Keating can do it, why can't you? Thankfully, I brought this Naruto. This Naruto is really good, man. He has, um, perfect dodge, uh, counter for his secret. And then he also has, um, the stupid barrier, uh, destruction with his regular jutsu. Look at this, look, look, look. Beautiful. Bountiful. Amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure Nardo will get hit twice and Maldito won't, so I might as well just do this. And let's see, this should be look at that. Beautiful. Bountiful. Amazing. Yes, sir. Nice. I gotta say, I'm really happy with how Nardo's game has progressed where it's gotten, you know, it has gotten harder, um, admittedly. But I like the fact that it has definitely kept the core concepts in where it is. Like, for example, you know, with boss rushes like this, it's good to have slip damage. If you have slip damage, it'll kill him slowly but surely. It's good to have barrier-breaking jutsu. It's good to have perfect dodging things. Like, different bosses require different characters. One thing I kind of don't like about Dokkan is that in a way to make the game harder and just, you know, make it harder in general... They just completely removed the idea of jutsu sealing. They removed the idea of stunning. So instead of kind of trying to make the um, the game harder in a different way, they just did it by, you know, you, now you can't jutsu seal. Or not jutsu seal. 
Now you can't super seal, now you can't stun, now you can't use certain characters. Which, yeah, made the game harder, but... I don't know, I feel like they kind of ruined the flow of the game where... Like, certain characters became shit now. Like, everyone used to love General Blue because you could stun with General Blue. But now you can't stun most new Dokkan event bosses. And you can't super seal either, so... They literally have just boiled the game down to having good characters that can take hits and give hits. And that's all you need, and that's all you really can do in order to beat these bosses. Like, in the past, you could be able to beat certain bosses with out category leads or, you know, super duper good leads and super duper good characters, but seems like for the most part Dokkan has kind of gone off on that, you know, making things really difficult and alienated anyone who had asked your units. I mean, the same goes for this game too. I mean, the fucking Final Valley Naruto and Final Valley Sasuke, the SS rank and the, um, well, the S rank wasn't that bad, but the SS rank missions were fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, holy shit. Like, it wasn't bad enough that the event was hard in general, but, like, you get to the end for Sasuke and Naruto, and these motherfuckers go through their entire evolution as characters, <clears throat> and they're goddamn fucking impossible to kill unless you have decent units. Not even decent units. You need, like, the fucking summon units, which I didn't have, and I don't think I don't think I beat any of the SS rank ones, if I remember correctly. I, I honestly don't remember. And uh, let's see. Ooh, I like those points. Ten thousand six hundred big money, big stacks. Um, but yeah, I've been playing this game a lot more, and I like it. It's pretty fun.